I hate to admit the fact that Adam has finally been caught, like his identity has been revealed. Hey guys, welcome back to Sahara Movies. My name is Lydia and I'm your host for today. Today we are talking about Best Friends in the World, Senior Year, Episode 13. And we are focusing on Adam's identity has been revealed. Should I say rebuked? <laughs> anyway, if you are new to the channel, please do well to subscribe for more videos and more updates. Now, let's get started. So, there was a birthday party that Esther invited Olive, and you know, Olive, who will never change, who is always saying, No, this is not something for her, she would rather be sitting home and watching TV and all that and all that. Simultaneously, Robert has also invited Adam into the to the same birthday party, and Adam was also saying the same thing. I could have been doing something better with my precious time. I think that would be the worst thing he has said in this whole episode. Trying to say that he could have been doing something better, like writing, like writing, and that was when his identity was. Let me say his reputation was tarnished. Let me put it that way. So yes, we all know that. There's a writer, like there's an iconic writer that everyone is fantasized about. Like everyone wants to see the person who is A. Augustine. His books are so good. His fiction is so good. His novel is so good. It's so touching. You see, like a teen person writing something relatable to his age mate. It's something that is going to catch the ears and the eyes of his friends. So yes, we are all wondering who is this A. Augustine? Who is this A. Augustine? And we know that Jovial Roberts, who one day just decided to do the calculation and realized that Adam is the person who has intentionally made himself a guest, like he is hidden his identity. And sometimes that's the beauty of things when people don't know who you are, when you are behind the scene doing th a lot of things that people want to know who you are. It really makes people enjoy your work more because the suspense makes everything more interesting. So, yes. Olive likes A. Augustine. Esther likes A. Augustine. Like everyone is fantasized about A. Augustine. They come to school and talk about A. Augustine. They said A. Augustine is in LHS. Wow, like this is big news. So who is A. Augustine? And you know when you get a hint like that and then there's no follow up on it, they, um, the author only says he's in, a, he's, in, he's in LHS and he doesn't add any description whether this or that. You end up crashing the feelings away like you end up not wanting to follow up on who this A. Augustine is. So yes, Adam has been hiding his identity as as A. Augustine, but he's been writing good stories. He's writing good stories, and Robert is the only one who knows. I think Robert is one of the truest friends and best friends in the world. He's so genuine. Like, I don't know, but he's, he's, he's such a true, true friend. And yes, Coming back to the party, Adam is saying that you, I, I, I could have been home doing something better and all that and all that, something better than like writing and all that. And Robert's like, oh, please, you have a lot of time to write. And that was when they ended up spilling the beans, saying that, do you want everybody to know that I'm A or guest? And right behind them was Olive and Esther, like the last people to know the truth. They used to be best friends. They could have kept this a secret. But right now that their friendship is a bit shaky, it's on shaky grounds. I can't really promise if Olive and Esther are going to keep this a secret. Because right now, Adam himself, he, he wouldn't be sure on how to convince them to keep it a secret. Because they are ladies. Ladies don't keep secrets. We will tell another lady to keep it a secret. And the other lady will tell the other lady to keep it a secret. And that's how the circle moves. So yes, so yes, I, I'm really feeling for Adam at the same time. I'm happy that his identity has been revealed. Because why would you be saying such such thing in public? Like, you, you never know who is listening. That's why they always say walls have ears. You never know who is listening, who is behind you, paying attention to your every move. And then you spill out such a very important information to yourself. That was, that was way too much. So I think that Adam deserved the fact that Olive and Esther had his revelation saying that he is A. Augustine. Right now, his biggest problem is that will Olive and Esther keep it a secret too? Because they used to be best friends. They have they've had secrets together and all that. Will they keep it a secret too? Because this is like whoa, 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 whoa. Like the last people he expected them to know. If it was Evelyn, you know, Evelyn, Adam has his way around Evelyn. Like, like he can just convince her not to tell anyone, even though Evelyn is not to be trusted. 
but with Olive and Esther, whose friendship is is not really attached anymore, are they going to keep it a secret? Like I'm asking you, do you think Olive and Esther will keep this a secret? In my opinion, I think they will, but they'll ask for something in return. You want us to keep this a secret? What do we have in return? That's something that Esther will come up quickly with, or Olive will come up quickly with. If you want us to keep this a secret, we want something in return. So you've been in that class the whole, all, all this while, and we, 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 we don't know who A or Gaston is. On the other hand, I also think that his revelation is going to cause a bit of decline in the interest from his friends. Because they not knowing who A or Gaston is makes the story more interesting and more relatable. You can comment, you know. You can add your suggestions, how you are related to the story and all that. But now knowing that the author is your own friend, your own classmate, your own school prefect, like, it will make some things reserved. Let's say, for example, me not knowing that A. Augustin is Adam, I can write it blatantly in the comments or if there's uh, an option for comments in his book, like it's an online book, so obviously there could be a part that you can add your comment. And then I add that, yes, I'm also going through the same thing. I have a boyfriend who is doing this, who is doing that. And A. Augustine will listen to their grievances nicely. But now knowing that A. Augustine is their own colleague, Ada, who is no different from them, who is their age mate, who is their classmate, it will make them reserve most of their comments and eventually make them not even want to read the novel again because they know who the author is, they know where he's getting his inspiration from and all that. So yeah, guys, this is what I think about Adam's scene when he finally revealed that, do you want everybody to know that I am A. Augustine? For Robert, he's a good guy at keeping secret. But for Esther and Olive, they can keep secrets too. But first of all, one, they are ladies. And second of all, two, they are no longer best friends as they used to. They used to be times friends who keep secrets. But now that they've had a bit of separation, I don't know if they can keep this a secret as well. I don't know if they can keep this a secret as well. Let me know what you think. That's why this is supposed to be interactive. Let me know what you think. Do you think that Olive and Esther are going to keep Adam's revelation a secret? That's number one. Do you also think that Olive and Esther knowing this secret will hinder them from reading more or will hinder them from, you know, being interested in the novel as they used to be? Because at first they were really into the novel. In fact, everyone in their school is fantasized about the author and all that. Now that Olive and Esther know the author or know the face behind the magic, will they still fall in love with the writer of the book? Let me know what you think. And what do you think Adam would do in order to keep let them keep it a secret? Will Adam, will Adam go the extreme to let Olive and Esther keep his secret a secret? Or he'll just, just slide it out. Anyway, if you want to tell everybody, tell everybody that kind of Adam. What do you think? My name is Lydia once again, and I'll be ending here for today. If this is the first time you're stopping by, please do well to subscribe. Till next time. Bye.